Welcome to Mathematics with M's, grade 11, solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Subscription is free. The solutions of any quadratic equation in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero, where a of course is not zero, can be determined using the formula x into negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. This formula is called the quadratic formula. Right, example 8, solve for x. x squared plus 9x equals to 36. So let's start with the solution. So x squared plus 9 is 36. So bring the 36 to the left hand side. And this first step is to write the equation in standard quadratic form. Right, so the next step is therefore to write down the formula. Remember, a from the equation is a 1, b is a 9, and c is a negative 36. So then you do your substitutions into the formula. Of course, all of this can be done now in one step on the calculator. There's no need to do, follow all those steps, but you can just to practice. This equation could have been solved in the usual way. We could have transferred 36 to the left hand side. We could have factorized and we still get negative 12 or 3. But of course, in any exams, you need to follow the instructions. Let's look at B now. Negative 3x squared equals to 7x minus 12. So transfer the 7x and the 12 to the left hand side. Identify A, B and C. A is negative 3, B is negative 7, C is 12. Be people with it, B, be careful. If you substitute a negative 7 into a negative B, it will become positive. So be very careful with that one. Do your substitution, do your calculator work, and you should get, if they say, round off to two decimals, then just minus 3,48 or 1,15. Let's look at C. Again, identify A, B, and C. A is 1, B is 1, C is 2. Do your substitution. And then, of course, you'll notice we end up with a negative square root 7. So, therefore, there's no solutions here. Right. Or otherwise, we can say non-real solutions. Right. So, there's your exercise. Please work through the entire exercise. The solutions will be on the next page. Right, here's your solutions to check whether you could have done it. Good luck. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.